Hello, hello, beautiful friends. Welcome to my channel. It's Sean from Shanky Beauty. I am just back from the gym and I am here to answer your questions about the Kat Von D Foundation. There's so many mixed reviews and this has gone viral on TikTok and a lot of you are asking why. And looking at reviews from Ulta and seeing the reviews from some gurus who have used it already, the reviews are mixed. The only way to really debunk any of it and to really give you facts, uh, because everybody's opinion is subjective, we're gonna look at the ingredients. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sean. My background is microbiology and biochemistry. I bring science to beauty and I'm also a luxury YouTuber. So the Kat Von D Apple Bomb Foundation is what we're gonna be talking about today. Why are some saying this is not for oily skin types? Why some are saying it is for oily skin types? And why some are saying this is a dry skin type foundation and others are saying it is not. Um, and again, the only way to get to the root of something is to really look at the information given and that comes through ingredients. My goal on my channel is to educate you so that you become a better informed consumer. So we're not just jumping on the hype of what is thrown at us. We're actually making accurate, acute, better informed decisions based off of facts about the product and whether or not it's going to be conducive to your skin type and skin concern. So let's take a look at the ingredient list and then we'll come back and have a discussion because I'm going to break down not all of the ingredients, but some of the key ingredients in here and then we'll talk about why it's not working for this one and not working for that one and who it is really for. <laughs> okay, friends, let's look at the claims on this foundation. One, it is a fresh matte finish. This one is supposed to be buildable, giving you that full coverage look, minimizes the appearance of pores, is more natural. It's said to be in its finish. This one a little bit goes a long way. The packaging is recyclable. It retails for $38. Um, a lot of really great claims. I would also say, you know, hence the name, the apple extract that is in here, but there's some other really great skincare ingredients in here as well. And we're gonna get into that. Now, one of the first ingredients that I do want to bring to your attention is the triethyl hexanoin. Um, and this is before I take you into looking at the actual list and us highlighting some of the ingredients that can be a little bit of an issue for those who have particular skin types. But triethyl hexanoin is actually a hybrid of two worlds. It is a fatty acid and a triester glycerin. Okay, so it is from the glycerin family. This is going to give you more of a skin conditioning like feel to the skin. It is anti-static, it is a solvent, and this is acting like an emollient. Now, this is the first ingredient. So, uh, when we're talking about glycerin, glycerin is one that we really highlight for those with dry skin because it's conditioning to the skin and it's actually bringing that you know intense moisturization to the skin however one of the things that i do want you to know about triethyl hexanoin is the fact that it is a fragrance compound so if you're allergic to fragrance if you're opposed to fragrance if you have an allergic reaction to fragrance in your skincare or in your cos cosmetics, then this is going to be one that can potentially be an allergen to you. And fragrance for those with dry skin is something that we steer you clear of because fragrance dries out the skin. Okay, next thing I wanted to jump into is the second ingredient and then we're going to highlight just a few that are intermingled in that few first few lines. So let's get right into showing you the actual list itself. All right, friends, so let's look at silica for a second. This is used as an absorbent in powders, but because this is a foundation balm, this is what is being used to evenly distribute the pigments in this foundation onto the skin. Silica is also really great for stimulating uh, collagen. So definitely you've got some benefits here and this is one that in primers can clog pores 
and in some cream-based makeup can also cause acne. So um, I want you all to be very mindful of that as well, okay? Because there are some reviews that said it caused them to break out. There's other reviews that says that this started to move around and some people actually said it dried out their skin. So um, these are the reasons why I'm pulling out some of these ingredients because this will help you to understand why the mixed reviews are all over the place, okay? We're going to go into the Distir Demonium Hectorite. Uh, this is actually one that helps with keeping this product viscous, uh, meaning thick and sticky, more like the balm that it's claiming to be, right? It's more like an effective stabilizer. However, this particular ingredient is more like a clay. And if you remember with, you know, your charcoal masks or your clays, they're really geared towards those with oily skin to help to, you know, uh, control oils and minimize the appearance, minimize the appearance of, you know, pores. So this could be one that is drying to those with dry skin as well. Uh, this particular ingredient. And as we can see, it is pretty much up there on the ingredient list. Anytime you see products pretty high up on the ingredient list, especially in the first two lines, then you know that they've used a high concentration of that particular ingredient. So just wanted to let you all know that. Now the alcohols in here that you see that are following this is not your denaturing alcohol. So this is not gonna be drying to the skin. These are more like fatty based alcohol. So I didn't really wanna to touch on that. But I do wanna go into the Pyrus Malice because this is one that uh, Cap Von D has named the actual uh, uh, foundation balm behind it, which is the apple fruit extract. And what we know about apples is they are really great antioxidants. They are one for scavenging free radicals. So really helpful in that. And it's also one that helps to uh, act as a really great anti-ager as well as smoothening out the skin. So, you know, Kev D has thought of some really great things uh, to put inside this balm that are going to give you some skincare benefits as most of us are looking for you know if you want elasticity to the skin and you want that elasticity to last longer then definitely going after anything with apple extract in it is going to be beneficial to the skin okay so i just wanted to highlight that we have hydrolyzed sodium hyaluronate of course we know that to be hyaluronic acid that is really beneficial to the skin. We have butylene glycol, again, another fatty alcohol that's definitely helpful for, you know, really distributing product. It's a really great moisturizer as well in our skincare products. Really helps things to, to uh, move around well, but it's also great for um, dissolving those particular ingredients that cannot be dissolved in water. I talked about butylene glycol, uh, I think in a good molecules uh, video that I did some time back, but this is a helpful ingredient and a lot of cosmetics, they use butylene glycol. Again, when you cannot get anything to, you know, dissolve in water, um, <clears throat> you're gonna use this. This is a great humectant as well it helps to soften and improve the texture of your skin you can also use this in your hair care products as well i just wanted to uh highlight this it's pretty safe um and uh, what i can say is most of the ingredients that uh cap d has used in this um foundation is pretty clean okay friends so this is an ingredient that i wanted to show you all as well. This one has Capril Glycol. Now Capril is actually a really great humectant. However, if you are one that is allergic to coconuts or coconut oil or any type of derivative of coconut, this will break you out. You will have an allergic reaction to it because it is one that is not a denaturing alcohol, okay? This is derived from your fatty acid, but it is actually one that comes from coconut. So that is something that I wanted to highlight for you all as well, but I wanted to really bring context 
to some of these key ingredients that are, high, are higher up on the ingredient list, just so that you all can see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, another key ingredient that I wanted to highlight is the safflower seed oil. Now, this is a really great oil to put in here because it does help with balance of the sebum levels in the skin and it is very lightweight it's non-greasy it really is helpful for like minimizing acne and any sort of flare-ups because it's an anti-inflammatory okay it absorbs quickly into the skin and it's an excellent uh, facial oil for moisturizing the skin for all skin types however you know we have some contradictions going on as i showed you with other ingredients higher up on the list all right, friends, so I'm sure the next question is, who is this for then, Sean? If it's not for oily and it's not for dry, then who is this going to be for? Uh, this is going to be for those with normal or combination skin uh, because there are some ingredients that can, you know, exacerbate your texture. Uh, it can clog pores. Um, there's some ingredients in here that can even make you more oily if you're already oily. Um, and then there's some ingredients in here that can make the dry types drier. And that's why there's so many conflictions happening with reviews on this product because there is not synergy for one or the other. This cannot be marketed to everybody. And that's because the ingredients are very much conflicting. They're all over the place. Um, and I'm not to say, I'm not to knock KVD. Um, I'm just saying there are some heavily glycerin emollient based properties in here that's great for those with dry skin. Um, there's some really great humectants in here as well, like your butylene glycol, your hydrolyzed uh, sodium hyaluronate, really bringing in that moisture you moisture into the skin, the triethyl hexanoin, also bringing moisture into the skin. But for those with dry skin, you, you know, you've got this triethyl hexanoin that, yes, it's going to bring in moisture, but it's also fragranced. And you have capril glycol in here that is one that's derived from coconut. So if you're allergic to coconut, for me, I can't use coconut on my skin. So if I went after this product and used it, I would have broken out because the capril glycol would have broken me out. And then you have silica, which causes sometimes breakouts and is known to sometimes clog pores. So this is why we have a lot of mixed reviews. So I would definitely say, you know, take this with a grain of salt. I know it went viral on TikTok, but also remember that on TikTok, there are a lot of filters that happens on these videos. Um, you know, a lot of this is sensationalism. A lot of it is marketing. And so we want to be very, very astute when we're going in and we're purchasing product. We don't want to go and keep up with the Joneses when we're not really looking at ingredients. I'm here for you. Leave your comments down below and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao for now.